This is a short comparative review of the T-Bone EM9900 compared with the Bayer Dynamic MCE 86N. I've set the gain levels to exactly the same on the Focusrite preamps. They're about three quarters of the way up, just to see how the, uh, the levels actually compare between the two microphones. I'm gonna switch back and forth between the two just so that you can hear the tonality of the two mics and the difference in the levels. The reason for doing this is I think it's quite important to see what kind of level that you get out of a microphone because it gives you an indication of how, how much you need to turn up the gain. This is quite significant for location recording if you're on set, for example, and you're using a fairly budget recorder like the Zoom H4n, you might find yourself running out of gain. So having a microphone that has a slightly um, hotter signal output can actually be quite advantageous. So we'll see in this test which of the two uh, manage to achieve that. I'm just going to read out the uh, specifications of the T-Bone and uh, I'll swap between the two mics as we go. Introduction, thank you for purchasing the T-Bone EM9900 microphone. We'd like to thank you for your confidence in the product. Specifications, it's a condenser microphone, frequency response of 30 Hz to 20 kHz, hypercardioid, and sensitivity of minus 37 dB, 12.6 millivolts slash PA, 200 ohm output impedance, max SPL 130 decibels, requiring phantom power of 9 to 52 volts, power consumption 2 milliamps, audio connection 3-pin XLR. Now the difference between the two mics is the Bayer Dynamic is able to accept a battery powered input. The T-Bone cannot accept this, so you must use phantom power with this particular microphone. So hopefully that's given you an idea. The next test I'm going to do, I'll set the preamp gains to exactly the same and put some music on in the background to see how it manages to reject sound from off-axis. Back in a second. Okay, in this uh, second part of the test, what I'm going to do is compare the two microphones with some music on in the background. You can probably already hear it. It's playing behind the microphone, so this is a test of the off-axis rejection from behind the mic. Um, what I've also done is set the gains to be almost the same in terms of volume level, which means that actually the Bayer Dynamic requires a much higher level of gain than the T-Bone. So the T-Bone is actually outputting a much hotter signal, which could mean that you'll get a lot more level out of your uh, your preamps if you're using a, uh, an audio interface that doesn't give you all that much gain. So I'll swap between the two once again. So introduction, thank you for purchasing the T-Bone EM9900 microphone. We'd like to thank you for your confidence in the product and hope that you will enjoy the new microphone. Specification, high condensed frequency response, 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz, polar pattern, Hypercardioid, sensitivity minus 37 dB, 12.6 millivolts PA, audio connection 3 pin XLR, and the power consumption 2 milliamps requiring phantom power of 9 to 52 volts. Thank you.